Now, in the beginning, our library is empty. So if we uh, say, list all books in library, there's nothing there. First, we need to add a book. So let's add a book. Call my title, uh, title, oh, just, uh, oh, whatever, whatever. Author, me, ISBN, number one, because I'm number one. Enterprise, zero dollars. All right. Now, if we list all our books in the library, we have this. Now we can import and save video, image, music files. As you can see, there's no files at the moment. Uh, press Option 4 for Import and Save. It's going to ask us, well, which book do you want to put this uh, file on? Um, we're going to put it at book whatever. And then it's going to wait for one second, and this should pop up in the middle of your screen. Promise you guys, this will pop up in the middle of your screen. This is our J file chooser. So this is the uh, file filter name that we actually uh, created. Remember, video slash image slash music files. And now it's only going to let us uh, see all the extension files that we uh, told it that we could see. So let me add uh, let me add some music in here. Add yeah, this bad boy over here. Go to lights. And remember, guys, when you're uh, adding music, make sure that it is one word. There's no spaces. Make sure there's no spaces. Otherwise, uh, the program might crash or something. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Just make sure that it's, there's no spaces inside there. And, of course, when you're saving, yeah, when you're saving it, there's no spaces. So go ahead and click Open, or you can just double-click it. Now it should say, you have added lights to a book, whatever. Now if you uh, click list all books in library, we now have one Vim file, and that's an MP3 file. Now let's add another music file. We're going to add it to the same book. Four again, we're going to put in whatever. Again, this will pop up. We're going to add another music file. And if you guys don't know, this Muse that main theme is from the Skyrim. It's the Skyrim theme song. And I hope I don't get any copyrights from this. Well, I'm only gonna. I'm not gonna play it anyway. So whatever. You uh, you've added main theme dot mp3 to book whatever. List list all the books in library. See, we have now we now have two files. Now let's add uh, an image file. I'm, uh, I could add a video file, but I don't have any videos in my computer, so I'm just going to add an image file. So let's add another image file. Enter book to file on. Enter the book title to file. Put the file on. Book whatever. So this is the only book we have. And if you put any any other thing, if the book doesn't exist, as it was, well, it doesn't exist. For enter the book to file on whatever choose again this will pop up and let's look for a uh, image file let's go to my desktop I have some icons here and I'm just gonna hmm I'm just gonna pick this image right here and now you have added browse.png to book whatever now let's list all the books in library yeah now I have three three files these files are now actually inside the cache now let's save and quit. We don't need to save and quit in order to uh, load and export, but let's actually save and quit just so that I could show you guys that it is actually inside the uh, .ser file. These files are going to be inside our .ser file that we're about to create. So save and quit. We're going to call it. Uh, we're going to call it um, L. What? I'm just going to call library. Huh? And now it's saved. And now if you go on over to your Package Explorer 
and click on library and press F5 for refresh. You can now see this library SER. Mumbo Jumbo. And it's quite long because it contains, also contains the byte array of our Vim object. It serializes it. And if you actually uh, click on, if you actually take a look at the uh, the size of this library that it's going to con it's going to contain about twelve megabytes. It's going to be about twelve megabytes because no, about ten megabytes because um, again, it's storing all of these, and it's about four megabytes, four megabytes, and it's about it's about I guess. I don't know, it just, just stores all of these. And yeah. Now let's run our application again because it ended. Let's uh, list all books in library. As you can see, the library is empty. Let's actually load the library, zero. Enter file name to load. We call it library. Now it's loaded it. And I know I should have added some prompts here, like uh, li uh, loading successful or something like that. But I don't know. you guys can do that if you want to. I'm pretty sure you know how. But now let's list all the books in the library. Now you can see it's all there. Now let's actually use option number five. And we're going to load and export this Vim file. And again, I, uh, I made a spelling error here. Vim file from book. It's supposed to be Vim. Again, I'm OCD, so I'm just going to fix that here. I'm not going to rerun the code. I'm just going to fix the code so that when I... Where is it? Uh, Vim file. Right, let's get back to it. Again, I didn't rerun the code. I just... We're not going to rerun the code. All right. So enter 5 for load and export Vim file and play it. Enter the book title. The only book we have is whatever. Now I'm going to give you the book information. And enter the complete file name. Again, I said no spaces. So these things must have no spaces, otherwise you know, it's not going to work. Let's play lights. No, actually let's open up browse.png first. Browse.png opens it up for us as you can see right there I don't know why it's able to open Windows Photo Gallery and not Windows Media Player I don't know it's weird but it's, trust me guys download and install VLC now let's actually uh, uh, load and export uh, a music file so we're going to export this music file, lights.mp3. And it's about to get a little loud in here, so enter. Alright. Um, yeah, and now, and now that we've exported it, you can actually see, you can actually get the cop a copy of the file. So if you click on the library and refresh it again by pressing F5, it's all right here. Browse.png, lights.png, and congratulations and enjoy the program that you just made. Peace out.